Merry Christmas. Time to go up out the Zwift. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm not in the right gear. Watch these titles and then we'll go. I'll go get changed. So, I did mention in one of the other videos, to be a link appearing here, that I'd, uh, I'd had a secret weapon for when I went up the Alp, and here it is. I've got the Trek and Emonda from doing so many feet of climbing. I'm currently trying to get the Tron bike, but I'm way off that. So, this is my secret weapon. I uh, forget what my last time was, but I'll tell you at the end of the video. So, let's, I think it was an hour and 25. So let's see if we can get up it. I've only got so long, I need to get this done. So let's get into it and get riding. Let's get up, Alp the Zwift. Let's forward until they're actually at the Alp. And uh, see what time we get. So here we are, just coming into the start of the segment for the Alp. Let's see what happened then. Uh, under an hour has been nice, but I can't see it. Oh. So this is my third time up there. First time I did on a training session. So the time was ridiculous because it was on erg mode, like over two hours. Then the last time, I can't remember the top yet, but I have got that on the Strava. So let's just uh, see what I can do. Hopefully it's good. So here we are, start of the first uh, climb. It's an absolute beast. Well, that way at the start of the climb. I don't know, it'll appear on the left hand side in a minute with my times on the corners. Well, here we are, coming up here now. There we go. So, so there you can see on the left hand side what's appeared and that's got all the turns that there is so there's 21 hairpins and that's the distance between each hairpin so I don't want to blow myself up just try and pace myself nicely keep breathing I've got I've got some snacks delicious mince pies I've got two of them all the mini ones, I've not got giant hands. So yeah, let's uh, settle in. I'll come back to you in a few turns. Forgot I went past turn 14. First minute's pie. Uh, turn wise, um, I'm a third of the way up, thinking I'm climbing as well, at 357 meters. Uh, my last times there, I've just realized it was 85 minutes. Um, I don't know where I am in relation, but if it takes me three times as long as this, it's going to be 72 minutes, which would be 10 minutes off. Let's see if we can keep the pace. This will help well. Right, come back again at some point. Mm. Mm. So, guys, uh, we're through turn seven, seven turns left to go, 5.2 kilometers left to go, and about 400 foot of climbing, uh, 400 meters of climbing. I wish it was 400 foot. Uh, I think I did the first half. I went too hard. Determined to get a PR though. So, I've done 7.2. K of the 12.4 climb, so two thirds of the way through, uh, and I'm time-wise, I'm, I'm I'm just over half of the way. I can't make sense of the numbers at the minute, but I will do when I do the talk over, which will be now. Dying though. Mince pie off first. I can make sense of these little packages of deliciousness help me up the Alp. Mm. 
so they really did help me up the help. So basically, what I was trying to get at was in my head, I was a, I was, I was ahead of the curve of where I needed to be to be getting a PR, going up this absolute mammoth beast of a bleeding climb. It's awful. Um, I was kind of in my head. I was hoping to be getting under one fifteen. It was just, yeah. I, I, I still can't make head and tail of what I was actually even talking about in here. Uh, but yeah, I, I, was, I was hoping to be ahead of the curve. Uh, so the climb itself is 12.7 kilometres. I had five kilometres left to go and I was ahead of the curve of where I needed to be, at least to be even beating myself my previous time by, by a minute. My heart's on fire. Hearts on fire by John Cafferty and the Beaver Band from Apple Music. So at this point here, I realised I needed some inspiration, some motivation, something to just give me some life to get up this climb. An absolute mammoth. So I, I only have, when you look at the numbers here, I only had 0.9 of a K left to go, but that might as well have been a whole new climb again. At this point, my legs were absolutely shot. Last two. That's that box off. Down to the summit. Which is just there. Uh, near them legs. 0.8k. And this bleeding Christmas Day torch is over. So in my head, uh, I had to, uh, I, at this point I was going, and you can see here now that I've started to put some power down. And in my head I was thinking, maybe I can hold this all the way up. Don't know where these 400 watts come from, it must have been mince pie power. But I couldn't hold on to it. Legs were shot to pieces. So here we go again. I could see the times coming up of other riders. And that one didn't last long, <laughs> my legs just fell to pieces. <laughs> so I was kind of in my head, I was hoping, can I get under sub 115? As you can see here, in the top of the box there, it says R Gosling R and B Rodwell. I, I, I don't truly understand this bit here. If any of you have got any idea what it is, please explain to me down below. I think it's if I carry on at this power, this is where I'm going to finish. But then when you can see ETA below, 76.52. Is that my finish time, what they expected to do? I ain't got a clue. At this point, I weren't really bothered when I was riding. I was just literally, let's get to the top. Last time when I'd done it, I got to this point here. I had loads of power in my legs and I managed to absolutely burst out of the seat and just fly to the finish line. Which again, I've got the great idea to try and go again here. But... As you'll see now, I can't hold on to it at all. 600 watts? Nope. Not having it. Just realised there's just far too long left to go. But to be fair, as I didn't explain at the beginning of this, I actually, that morning, I'd been to my mates on Christmas Day morning. We go there every Christmas, and I had a, a bacon sausage sana and i also had a, a traditional christmas morning brander so to be fair i was fueled on that and mince pies i don't think i did too bad as you can see 76 23. <sighs> that was horrible that was horrible <sighs> Down. Oh. oh, that was vile. <coughs> and also, you can tell that I'm not fully recovered. I've been ill now for over two weeks. It's not COVID, I've been tested. I've had loads of lateral flow tests and I've even had a PCR test and they're all negative. And I am double vaccinated. It definitely worked COVID, but I've to, I'm still not 100% right. Still bunged up and still got the cough. Still managing to push through this. So, actually, 
I'm interested to see of what I can actually get when I am 100% recovered and Christmas is completely out of the way and I'm fueling my body with decent food because at the minute with my food it's just utter carnage and I keep telling myself it is Christmas but to be fair it is Christmas and mince pies at Christmas is just a just has to be done so as you can see there my time is 1 hour 16 minutes and 24 seconds that says a Strava official time which for my body weight and my age and the amount of times that I've done it I'm happy with it I'm really happy with it however so there's been something I've not been telling you I've been signed up for a racing team on Zwift called Art now I'm going to be racing in a, the team's called Art Fusion and I've actually got my first race with them tomorrow night and sod's law, my first race is up this bleeding thing in a team time trial I mean team time trial up the Zwift what am I thinking? this is going to end in tears I know full well it is however, maybe I can get under that one, 1 hour 15 minute time when I'm racing with the team who are going to be giving me loads of tips and advice while we're actually in the race but what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that for a later video so before I say uh, please subscribe I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year thank you for sticking with me through 2021 next year lots of big plans lots of rides coming and for those of you that subscribe for the mountain bike videos trust me they're coming back all this is all going to win a link into everything I'm going to be doing in 2022. Lots of big days on the bikes, road bikes and mountain bikes, so they're all going to be interested. Anyway, please, last chance for 2021, please do consider pressing that subscribe button, and I will see you in 2022. Take care, guys. Have a very happy new year, and stay safe. Bye.